what is up guys hope you are fine welcome to the part 10 of the project and this is the final part of the project means we are going to finish the project here today and uh, today actually we are going to create uh, two things actually we are going to create this uh, scroll to top button as you can see that so it is nice to have this kind of a scroll to top button on your web page especially when your web page is actually long so that your uh, audience can click this and they will get back to the top of the website and uh, that's what we are going to make uh, in this last video and also we are going to actually deploy this site with netlify and if you notice the url as you can see that's a actual url and i will show you the process how you can deploy this site on netlify and i hope you guys will like that also if you want to get some interesting tips and tricks about web design and development you can follow us on instagram the handle is instagram.com slash web underscore cipher also if you face any kind of problem with this tutorial you can join our facebook community group we have a great and helpful community and you can post your problem there so with that saying let's get started So now let's actually create this scroll to top button as we can see that here whenever i'll click that it will take us to the top of the website so for that let's actually go to our index.html so before our navigation section let's create the html for it so here let's actually create a comment first of all and it will be a scroll to top button and let's say that this is the end of it and between that i will have my html for it and here i will have a div with a class of uh, scroll top and inside that i will have my svg so i already have the svg and if you don't you can go to the uh, hero icons.com and from there you can just grab the icon and the icon is actually a arrow icon and if i paste it as you can see that's the icon so search for arrow icon in uh, heroicons.com you will find this icon so it's looking good and, and now we need to style it so let's go to our style.css and after the global style here means before the navigation style and which is here so navigation style as you can see that is starting from here so we can actually create our style here so this will be for a scroll to top button Style. and actually let's create some style here so let's actually grab the class which is the scroll top and here let's say that uh, z index will be 100 so z index 100 because i want this scroll to top button in the top layer of our website so after that the height is actually 60 pixel and background color will be the white and also the position and position actually will be the fixed here once i do and if i do fixed i can't see it i need to position that so let's say that uh, the bottom will be 10 pixel and right will be and let's say that right will be 10 pixel also so if i do that so still we can't see it because we don't have any kind of uh, width for it so let's actually create some width for this svg so let's say that scroll top inside that if i have any kind of svg i just can say that the width will be 50 percent and the color will be black and uh, we can just say that uh, pointer events will be none because i don't want to have the pointer events on this svg i want to have the pointer events on this as call to top means as call top div so that's why i just removed the pointer events from this svg so now as you can see that i can see my svg here and i need to just um, do some style here so let's say that uh, cursor will be pointer here and after that a border radius will be six pixel so already i have a height for it but i don't have any kind of width so let's actually give a width so 60 pixel will be good so as you can see that 60 pixel height and 60 pixel width but the problem is this icon is not in the center of the div so for that i just can say that display will be flags 
and align items will be center align items will be center and justify content will be center and if i do that now as you can see that i can see the icon in the center of the div yeah that's fine and after that i can do a little bit of uh, styling means i need a box shadow here so i can do the box shadow so let me copy the box shadow it's a straightforward subtle box shadow and as you can see that i have this uh, primary color box shadow and after that i just can transform it transform a scale 0.9 it is fine but it is not functional yet so for that what i can do so before i move forward i want to say that if you want to know more about this scroll to top button you can watch my this video as you can see that in this video i explained it well and if you want to get more explanation on this topic you can just watch this video i will link it in the description and after that uh, let's actually do it functional and for that i just need to remove it first of all because i don't want to have this scroll to top button in our default view because if you can see that in our default view means kind of someone will come to the website they will not see this button in the top uh, in the bottom corner you can see that there is no button but whenever i'll scroll it will appear as you can see so after uh, after scrolling certain amount of uh, height i will actually show this button so to do that first of all i need to hide it so let's say that uh, let's comment it out instead of display flags i will just say that display will be none and if i do i can't actually see it because now it is display none and now i need to do other thing in my app.js so let's go to app.js here and first of all let's select the scroll to top button so constant uh, scroll to uh, or you can say that scroll button is equals to document dot query selector and here you need to grab this which is the scroll top class i think so after that uh, we need to actually do or we need to add an even listener on this scroll to top button let's say that first of all if we have any kind of a scroll to top button or if we have a scroll button then what i need to do i need to say that window dot add even listener and the event is actually a scroll so whenever we will scroll on our web page this event will fire and this function will run and here i need to say that first of all i will check how much you are scrolling so if page x offset is bigger than window dot inner height into uh what is multiply yeah 1.2 okay and what is actually i'm checking here is actually if i scroll more than 1.2 times bigger than the inner height so you can see that uh, this is the 100 vh from top here to down there so this will be the 100 vh or a uh, full inner height and i will actually check for 1.2 times of this height and if i scroll more than that if i scroll more than that what i will do i will show my button here so i just can say that scroll to top button dot style dot display will be the flex and if i do let's actually check it so if i scroll 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 so it is not working i think i should console lock something so that i can see what is happening so page y offset okay the problem is as you can see that this is page x offset i need to check with the y offset because this scroll is actually happening in the y axis sorry that's that was my mistake now uh, i should see my button so if i come here and scroll and whenever i will scroll more than 1.2 times of inner height and i can see my button in the down right corner so the button is actually appearing in the right time so after that what i need to do actually uh, i need to remove it so in the opposite way else uh, a scroll to top button dot style dot display will be the none so that's it and uh, it will remove the button so whenever i will go scroll and i will scroll more than 1.2 times of inner height i can see the button but i will if i uh, go up a little bit i can't see it because we are now inside of 1.2 times of inner height 
yeah uh, it's looking good and after that i need to make it functional now it is appearing in the right time but it is not doing any work so after that let's actually say that a scroll to top button dot add event listener so we are actually adding a event listener here and the event is actually click event so whenever i will click what i will do here i will actually go to the top of our website so for that i just can say that window dot scroll to this one a scroll to and i will just say that x zero y zero means it will go to the top of our website and let's actually check it so if i click now as you can see that now we are in the top of our website yeah perfect so as you can see that this button is working and let's actually check it how it will be in our mobile device i believe it will be fine we don't need to do anything else yeah, as you can see that uh, I think we don't need to add any kind of responsive CSS for it because it is already looking good. And that's it. As you can see that uh, we have our perfect scroll to top button. And that's it. Uh, we don't have anything else to do. And let's actually change the, uh, as you can see that fab icon here. Uh, in our end project, you can see that this is the fab icon. But in our project, we don't have any kind of fab icon. So let's actually add one here. So let's say that link and fab icon here and let's actually give the URL for it. I have an icon for our fab icon here as you can see. So if you don't have, you can actually get those icons that I'm using in my website here from the source code. So the link will be in the description. So if I save, I can see my fab icon also. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we have completed full website here. Now it is time for deploy. So to deploy this website, we will use Netlify. So for that, you need to go to the netlify.com and it is a great place to deploy your site. It is super fast and you can actually do it very easily. And most importantly, it is free. So for those who are actually trying this thing or learning web design uh, by creating this kind of project, this will be a perfect choice for you because it's free and it has everything you can imagine for your use so let's actually log in and if you come here for the first time you can just sign up so once you are logging inside of notify what you can do you can actually deploy your site very easily and if you want a complete guide how you can actually deploy your site here you can actually uh, watch this video it's on our youtube channel i will link it in the description here i actually explained a lots of way how you can deploy your site so now I'll show you a basic way how you can actually uh, deploy your site. So after that, uh, you need to go to these sites. So here you will find all the sites that you already have in Netify. And you can see that you can actually drag and drop your site folder. So I'll do that. So this is the site or the project folder. As you can see that project dummy and I can drag and drop here. So once I do here, I can see that this is the site name for now we will change it obviously and you can see that production is published so i can actually see my site now if i click this link you can see that our project is now live here and if you notice the url this is actual url and if someone will visit this url they will see your site live and i believe everything is working fine here as you can see that everything is working fine perfectly yeah our site is looking good and actually uh, let's actually change this name i don't like this name let's say that here if you come to the general and from here change the name yeah uh, ms portfolio dot netlify dot app so if you deploy your site with netlify the url that you will have is actually Will be something like that you can actually choose whatever url you want something like emmy's portfolio that i chose here as you can see and after that it will be dot netlify dot app so you need to make sure about that and if you want your complete custom url what you can do you can actually add your custom url here so if i scroll down not here uh, here as you can see then domain management click that and add your custom domain here so if you have any kind of custom domain, you can add this custom domain with this project or whatever project you are working on. Yeah, that's it. Uh, now we finished the website. As you can see that um, 
website is looking good and we actually yeah actually we finished the website and as you can see that uh, we started from the sketch and we actually finished this website by deploying it uh, with Netify. yeah i think our journey will end here and uh, i will encourage you to do more project uh, the more you will do or more the more you will practice actually uh, the more you will become perfect on it so always try to make something and uh, i'll see you in the next project till then bye bye kudahafas Thank you.